Hey, Mount 31, I had a question coming off of section 5.6, number 61, and this is where I was given a graph and asked to come up with the equation for the graph. So just taking a look at some of these traits here, I see I have a vertical asymptote and x equals 1. I see I have an x-intercept at 2, 0, and another x-intercept at negative 3, 0. And from what I can tell, and I'm not perfect at this, but it looks like I have some kind of slant asymptote. I'm, I'm aware that there might be a slant, not even might be, there is a slant or oblique asymptote. And so that means that the degree in my numerator should be exactly one higher than the degree in my denominator. All right, so let's see where I am so far. If I take a look at this, f of x, all right. If I have this vertical asymptote down here at x equaling one, I know I'll have an x minus one in my denominator. Because I have this x-intercept at two, I should have an x minus two in my numerator. And because I have um, an x-intercept at negative 3, I should also have an x plus 3 up in my numerator. Okay, and then the other thing I need to always figure out is what is my stretch factor? What is that a, that multiplier out there? And usually we can get our a when we look at the y-intercept. So if I look at my y-intercept of 0, 2, I'm going to go ahead and plug in 2 for y, 0 for x, and see what the a value is equal to. So let's try this here. I'm going to change pen color back. I'm going to rewrite my original function down here. So f of x will equal a x minus 2 x plus 3 over x minus 1. Keep in mind I'm going to be plugging in 0, 2. All right, so here we go. I'm going to let 2 be equal to y. This will be a times 0 minus 2 times 0 plus 3 over 0 minus 1. And this work that I'm doing right in here, you can see that I've, I've mapped out. Same thing here. When you solve for a, I'm going to head down this way. I get a 2 on this side. I'll get on the numerator an a times negative 2 times positive 3. And on the denominator, I get a negative 1. Right? So if I'm looking at this, I have 2 equaling, and it looks like 6a. When I divide both sides by 6, I am going to get, ooh, what was that? <laughs> Let me erase that. I'm going to get a is equal to one third. So ultimately, I'm going to go ahead and let me just take the highlighter here. I'm going to take this one third and I'm going to put it in there for a. And that's where you see, oh, I did not write my final answer apparently. Oh, no, I did. Here it is. <laughs> okay. So there I am plugging in that one third for a and I'm multiplying everything through. Now, if you watched my video for number 53, I said I'm totally fine if you leave your answer that way, but your book likes to multiply everything out. Okay, so let me write, I'm cool with this. But your book, like I said, book multiplies everything out. That's just how they do it, which is fine. So if you want to match your book answer, you're just going to have to distribute everything. All right, so that's how we go ahead and we go from the graph to our rational function. All right, thanks so much, guys. Bye.